My name is Nikoni Cook. I'm a fifth generation farmer in eastern Washtenaw County, just east of Cordell. Uh, we raise uh, stalker cattle and wheat, primarily a few other crops. And then uh, my wife and her family are in the uh, seed stock business and sell uh, registered Angus bulls and replacement females. We just finished up uh, weaning our spring calves, uh, cows that have been bred back and, and weaned the calves off of them and, and got them on feed and getting ready to, to turn them out on grass and get ready for wheat pasture. Uh, our, our fall calves and heifers are, are calving right now. On the farming side of it, we're, we're getting ready to start sowing wheat. We're about two weeks away from sowing wheat. We usually try to start the first week or two of September to try to get early wheat pasture for the stalker cattle trying to get ground in shape. Uh, that's, that's been really difficult uh, this summer due to lack of rain. We're fighting that battle right now, trying to get ground in shape, uh, ready to sow. By the end of the week, first of the week, our seed cleaner's gonna be here, start cleaning our seed wheat and uh, getting that in shape. Right now, the, the biggest challenge we're facing is the weather. Uh, we're really relying on rain. We don't have any irrigation. It's been dry all summer. When it, uh, all the summer crops, the cotton, they're, they're really struggling uh, due to lack of rain. My grandpa always told me that it, it, it rains right before it's too late, and I always keep saying it, it's getting real close to too late. Even through the pandemic, we're still operating, we're, we're still producing the crops, the cattle still have to eat, and uh, the ground still has to be worked. We're just doing the best we can with what we have to produce the best quality, safe product that we can. I, I just think I was born and raised to be a farmer, and I just think that's uh, been my calling and my wife in the production agriculture. I mean, we've kind of got a, a unique situation where we're both 100% production agriculture, where she's producing beef to feed the world and I'm producing crops to feed the world. And, and it's just something that we were both born to do.